Welcome back to Business Mathematics 2, MA1203. I'm Eric from Mathematics Study Program, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, ITB. So for today, we are going to discuss about System of Linear Equations, Part 2, that is on Overdetermined and Underdetermined System. Okay, uh, let's look about uh, on Overdetermined System first. What is What does Overdetermined Systems mean? Let's see. Now let's look at uh, into a solution of system of linear equation where the number of equations and the variables are different. Okay, let's go. The solution of uh, this system is the same as last week. So there are three uh, three possibilities. That is one solution, infinitely many solutions, and no solu solution. Let's say that we have three equation and two variable with the augmented matrix is given as follow. Okay, yeah. uh, look at this. If the variable is x and y, so you have x plus y equals 4, 0x plus 2y equals 1, and 0x plus 0y equals 2. Do you know how many solutions do you have? Very good. You have no solution here. What about, um, what about this one? x plus y equals 4, 0x plus 2y equals 1, 0x plus 0y equals 0. So uh, after you do um, uh, do elementary row operation, so you have this upper triangular matrix. It means that you have the uh, row as a long form. So you have the y here. So you have you can have with with back substitution you can have x here, and so the three equation it becomes just two equation. So you have two equation and two variable. Okay, two equation and two variable, it means that you have only one solution. Okay, the same applies here. What about this one? So you have x plus y equals 4 and no other uh, equation of the lines. It means, how many solutions do you have? Very good. Infinitely many solutions. Okay, yeah? now uh, you have tried to uh, write down the system of linear equations corresponding to each of augmented matrices above and find out uh, whether they have uh, one solution, infinity modern solution, or no solution at all. Okay, and you can identify also which one have a reduced row epsilon form and which one have the reduced reduced row epsilon form. Okay, now let's look at a uh, first example. Uh, the first one, we want to know uh, we want to find the solution of this system. x plus y equals 3, 2x minus y equals 3, and x minus 2y equals 0. How many solutions do you have? We do not know. We do not know. How can we identify this? Yeah, we have to reduce it using the Gauss-Jordan elimination method. So I put this into the row. Uh, I put this into the augmented matrix form. So you have this one as the coefficient. Don't forget the last one is the constant here, 3, 3, 0. Okay? And I have to eliminate 2 and 1 so it can be become 0, 0. So you have R2 minus 2, R1. Don't forget the result is put on the second row. This is the third row minus uh, 1 times the first row. And you put it in the third row. So in the end, you have this one. Okay? And you can uh, bring this into 1, minus 1 third, minus 1 third. So you have this one. And then you can eliminate this one, uh, R3 minus R2. So you have this one. Oh, okay. Okay. So in the end, you have two variables and two equations. Okay. Uh, this is the row reduced epsilon form. This is row epsilon form. This is row reduced epsilon form. Because in row, uh, reduced row epsilon form, every one, every leading one, we usually say uh, it should be zero in up and down. This is leading one, up and down should be zero. Okay, this is not a leading one. Okay, and so uh, can you guess how many solutions do you have? This is x equals two and y equals one. Okay, so you have. Uh, just one solution for this system. Uh, to know this better, you can also uh, try to look it uh, graphically. Okay, another example, x plus y equals 3, 2x minus y equals 3, and x minus 2y equals 1. So, uh, using the same Gauss-Jordan elimination, met method, uh, elimination method, elimination uh, method, 
to the augmented matrix you have this and you have this and this and uh, okay this is the row echelon form but in the row echelon form row i know that this must be no solution why because you have 0x plus 0y equals 1 yeah if you want to bring this into row reduce uh, reduce row echelon form it can be this but this is the same so you have you have uh, 0 0 1 so it means that you have 0x plus 0y equals 1 so there are no x and y such that it satisfies that that equation so you have uh, no no solution here okay and this is the last case, uh, x plus y equals 3, 2x plus 2y equals 6, 3x plus 3y equals 9. So, we will do the Gauss-Jordan elimination method uh, at the augmented matrix. So, I have this one, this one. Can you guess what the solution is? Okay, yeah. so you have the number after you reduce it to the reduced row echelon form or row echelon form. You know that there is only one equation. Apparently. Uh, to be, uh, there is just only one because all of this is just a multiplication or a linear combination of this. Okay, yeah? so how many solution do you have? Infinitely many, infinitely many solution. Yeah, in the end we have only one solution. This and remember we want to find for x and y that satisfy just one equation. Okay, yeah? so the number of equation is uh, less than the number of variables. So you have infinitely many solutions here. Okay, now uh, we will look again. What is the solution here? Okay, from last week, we know that this is infinitely many solutions. This is infinitely many solutions. If I have a number of equations less than number of variables, I have infinitely many solutions. But what is the solution? What is the sol solution? So this is uh, how we uh, write down the solution. Let's dig further this infinitely many solutions. So I have this one equation, x plus y equals 3. So what is x and y? We usually let y equals arbitrary t in real. Arbitrary t in real. Then we have x plus t equals 3. So we have x equals minus t plus 3. So x equals this and y equals this and t is an arbitrary real number any real number you want any real number you want hence the solution is given by x is minus t plus 3 this one and y is t okay so this is the solution with t in real why this has infinite solution because you can substitute arbit arbitrary t you can substitute 0 3 comma 0 is the solution of this very good yes and you can substitute maybe t equals uh, square root of 2. You have square root of 2. x is 3 minus square root of 2. And it still satisfy this equation. And you can, uh, took, uh, you can take t equals 4. So you have 4 as a 4y. And you have minus, minus 4 plus 3 minus 1 and it satisfies also this so how many solution of this of this uh of this one the solution infinitely many solution because you have arbitrary t here you have arbitrary t here okay so if we choose y equals t okay yeah okay okay these three cases are usually called over determined system over determined system that is when the number of equations are greater than the number of variable. Okay, when you have the number of equations are greater than the number of variables, the number is greater, sorry, is greater than the number. So you have three kinds of solution. That is one solution, infinitely many solution, or no solution at all. You have a look at the case for three vari two variable and three equations. Okay, next we will discuss on undetermined system on the, uh, the next session. Thank you.